Hi guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, before we get into the video, uh, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe uh, to the channel. Uh, let's try and get 30 likes for this video and uh, we'll bring you more uh, West Brom related content. Um, okay, so following on from our brilliant 4-2 win against Bristol City uh, last night, uh, we move on to another home game this Saturday against Millwall. Now, uh, I better be careful what I say here. I don't want the firm coming after me. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, Millwall are currently 20th in, in the Championship. They've, they've not had the best of starts. Um, I think they may be suffering from a bit of second season syndrome. Um, as some of you might know, they were promoted from League One a uh, season a bit back. And they did pretty well last season. They did pretty well. Um... I think finished around ninth or tenth, I think. I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, I think they could be suffering from a, a bit of second season syndrome. I mean, I don't know many of their players. I mean, there's one person who I do know. And by the way, I'm a Republic of Ireland fan because um, I'm half Irish. Um, I know Aidan O'Brien, who plays for them. Um, he's a really good forward for them. Um, but the thing I know about Millwall is that if Darren Moore is... A hero at the Hawthorns, then Neil Harris will always be a hero at the Den. Um, he knows this Millwall side, he loves the team, and um, he knows how to bring the best out of them. Um, but again, uh, I don't think that um, they're going to match up to us. I mean, as it was proven on uh, on Tuesday night, we had uh, the new great British trio, or what we're calling it now, or GBR, Gail Barnes, Rodriguez. Um, they were just in another class of their own, you know, it was, it was just really, really fantastic to see, I mean, Barnes dribbling around everybody, um, just, you know, setting up a tap-in for Rodriguez, you know, we only could have dreamt of that last season in the Premier League, um, but again, the big talking point from a lot of Albion fans is the defence, um, they're still poor, even though we're third in the Championship, we are, the defence is poor. And um, the midfield, again, Brunt was dropped. Um, I mean, I love Chris Brunt. I think he's a, he's a legend. He always will be. But he's been in poor form. And I think the drop was coming, to be honest, for him. Um, but again, again, attacking, unstoppable. But defence and midfield still need a bit of work. Um, Bartley is still out of form. I would put Adzebiro on instead of him. I would give Sam Field a chance. Um, and yeah, I would possibly shuffle them around a little bit, you know. Um, but I think if, if we if we do better with the defence and we keep, you know, Gail Barnes and Rodriguez uh, starting and going and hopefully don't get injured, um, I think we're going to be unstoppable, if I'm honest. Um, so my prediction for this game, I'm going to say 3-1 Albion. Um, clean sheet I don't think is going to come this time um, as much as I want Sam Johnson to keep on I just don't think it's going to be this time um, scorers I'm going to say I'm going to say GBR I'm going to say Gail Barnes and Rodriguez to get one each and I'm going to say Aidan O'Brien to get one back from Millwall but um, who knows we will see um, again don't forget to like comment and subscribe and one more thing, uh, some of you may have noticed in my aftermatch um, video last night with Connor, I was wearing this beauty. I bought this from the club shop last night um, and I love it. Any person, any Albion fan who wears a green and yellow kit, this is going to suit you for the autumn and winter. So I uh, thought I'd put that in. But again, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. We'll see you at the Hawthorns on Saturday. Thanks for watching.